champions, Mohammed Hassan and Indra City, once safely through, they'll play the winners of Inoue and Kanako or uh, the other former champions, 2016 winners, Vladimir Ivanov and Ivan Sozanov. So our next match is mixed doubles and you can hear a, a buzz of anticipation around the arena here because it uh, features uh, Chris and Gabby Adcock, the number six seeds up against the young Malaysian pair of Chen and Peck. But as you can see, there is already an English pair through to that uh, second round tomorrow. And that's uh, Ben Lane and Jess Pugh. What a good win for them against Seidel and Effler of Germany. So here come Chris and Gabby Adcock. Well, what a record they have at the Union Championships. This is their tenth appearance as a pair, but much, much more impressive is the fact that they have reached at least the quarter-final for the last five years. Two semi-finals in 2016 and 2017. Quarter-final last year where they lost the eventual champions, Watanabe and Higashino. And they only lost the eventual champions a year ago in three games. So the young Malaysians... Jin Tang Jia and Peck Yang Wei. Black for you. Yeah. This is red. Umpar you, sir. for this sir. one from okay. France. This uh, yeah, okay. Dito. So, the big question is how fit is uh, Gabby Adcock? Because, sadly, she sprained a toe in training prior to the the European Mixed Team Championships and therefore didn't participate in that particular event. 28 years of age now, as you can see, born in Leeds, but she and her husband now live in Milton Keynes, which is where Badminton England is based, and the National Training Centre. Two places down from their career high of number four, uh, where they spent five weeks from the end of August two years ago. The left-hander, Chris, will be 30 next month, uh, born in Leicester. And he and his partner, his wife, are two-time reigning European champions and two-time reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalists. Wonderful achievements by the English pair. So, uh, to the Malaysians and... Kim Wei is turned 23 last month, born in the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur. And they're 10 places down from their career high. This is actually their first ever appearance at the All England and their first ever appearance in a Super 1000 event. So what an occasion for them. Chen Tang Jie. Born in Ipoh, in Perak, in Malaysia. He turned 21 in January earlier this year. He was a bronze medalist at the World Junior Championships three years ago. And this will be the first meeting between these two pairs, and really not that surprising when you consider that this is the first ever major tournament for the Malaysian youngsters. So, Pedro Dito of France, our oh, umpire for this one, service judge from Ireland. And how the home fans will be hoping that this English combination can go at least one better than their previous best of semi finals. The last. English pair in the mixed doubles final here at the All England was 12 years ago. Anthony Clark with Donna Kellogg lost out in that final in 2007. Lost out to Jeng Bo and Gao Ling. Chris, now, I wonder if Anthony Clark, the man I've just been talking about, is on the coach's bench. He's certainly on the coach's bench for the first mixed doubles involving 
English players. No, he's not. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Cheng Tangji, Pei Ken Wei, Malaysia. And on my left, Chris Adcock and Gabriel Adcock, England. Uh, big home support for the Adcocks. Peck Yanwei to serve to Chris Adcock. Level play. Hey. Service over. One love. Out. Service over. Oh, One. Very tentative start, oh. isn't it? Way long of the back line. Yeah, they look nervous Sounds to me, over. young Malaysians. Two, one. Oh, I thought that may have been going wide. Oh, that's a super shot. That'll help calm the nerves. Service over. Two. Oh. That's absolutely brilliant. Service over. Three. Two. Oh, lovely change of pace. Service over. Three, four. Oh, I think last year this young Malaysian pair were playing international challenger events, which is a tier below the world tour. And they won their home Malaysian international challenger. Service over. And here they are now four, on the biggest stage of all. Good smash straight down the line. Service over. Four, five. Oh, no, it's very early stages, but the Adcocks not able to play their attacking style, which is so confident, so good when they're on the attack. Service Gabby over. Adcock Six, reads the game four. well, very sharp on the front of the court. Chris, when she's intercepting at the net, really brings his base position further forward, closes down the mid-court area. And when they're able to play like that, they can beat anybody in the world. Seven, four. Eight, 
four. Well, a few years ago, I remember at the All England Championships, Gabby wasn't able to serve low at all. All flick serves, like that last one. When she finally attempted a, a low serve, the entire fans started to applaud. And she's really worked on that, Service serving over. low more often. Five, uh, when it eight. gets tight, Oh, yeah, string's gone in the racket of Chris. When it gets a little tight, when in the scores and the big points, she does have a tendency to revert back to the flick serve again. confusion I think between the two of them who's Six, going to take that eight. yeah both could have played it I think they both slightly hesitated One of those big court pushes Nine, that Chris, when he's taking six. early like that, is absolutely superb. Look where his base position is. He's so far forward in court. And they certainly don't want to lift to him. When he closes down that mid court area. Wonderful play. idea from Pekwe Yenwei. Ten, six. And they're trying to block into the open space. Ah! It's gone long. Eleven, six. In so a five-point advantage at the mid game at interval. And I'm sure they'll be absolutely delighted with that. Just on attack, I think um, when Chris is on the length, they're lifting a lot. Yeah. Okay, so just when Chris is in his forehand side, be aware that she's going to go back that way. So just on your way on the head side. Okay. When Chris is mid, just let him go. Let him through, and then you can come up and side by side. So just drop off a little bit. Yeah, it is. Pete's going to keep um, directing a few of the serves, all right? So um, just listen out for those. Yeah. Good stuff, Pete. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Here's the advice from Graham Harrell. Got one, 20 seconds. Players back on court. Shinny uh, Wee, uh, coach for the Malaysians. Former world number one women's doubles player. Yes, exactly. Thank you. 11 6. Play. Yeah. All set up with a good flick serve. 12 6. That's why you don't want to lift to Chris Adcock. There's another good flick serve, my goodness. 13. Clever. Six. Service over. 7.13. Service over. Yeah, I like the idea once again from the Malaysians. 14, 
Seven. Time the block from Chen. Very loose serve, but got away with it. 15 7. Eight of the last nine points to the English pair. Suspects he actually tried to get out of the way of that. Eight sixteen. Oh, that's good work from Chris. Service over. Seventeen. Eight. Oh, my goodness, it went over. Well, that is Seven absolutely over. extraordinary. The miss hit Nine, from 17. the English. Look, she watches it, watches it, watches it, it comes over. And then Chris makes a complete mess of what should have been a relatively simple shot. Extraordinary. Yeah, that's nice. That's over. 18, 9. Tight spinning net shot from Gabby. Looks to me as if she's Ten, not quite got 19. back to her full fitness or maybe not match fitness after her toe injury. Oh, yes. Lovely. And lovely awareness from Chen. 11-19. That's well left. Good judgment. There's the drift coming Service into play. Over. Twenty game points. Twelve. Now game point opportunities. For the number six seeds, Chris and Gabby Adcock. She missed that. 
That's a very, very good rally by the Malaysians. Good pressure. 15, 20. Oh, the error on the flip serve. Disappointing way for the opening game to end. First but on the fifth game point Adler opportunity. Chris and Gabby Adcock take the opening game. 21-16 in 15 minutes. As soon as we just go maybe a little bit not wet and to them, then they're actually out of the place more than we played in one. Yeah, the day, yeah. So he's actually decent, but he's got getting turns and he's holding his mouth, but she has to open it. She's feeding, get over her, and she's got a special experience. And we're really just with her, but it's a total of that. Don't really sort of work with those guys around her. So keep taking her on there, and I'll make sure I can lead to it. Put it on there. Lots and lots of this stuff, keep side of turns, really sharp, and lots of chance to make it make sense. I think your position is good when you're attacking at 2 5. They get a little bit of a still good member. She keeps going back this way. So we just stop that and stop that. That's a reset. Yeah, start that set. We've got everything to earn again now. Yeah, start that. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. One game. game to the goods. Lovell. Chris and Gabby Adcock. Play. Play. I've seen little glimpses from Chen and Peck that One. tell me they have a lot of potential. Uh, but I think the Adcocks today probably have too much experience. Perhaps too many superior, both technical and tactical skills for the Malaysians to be a real threat. It's a good rally. Yeah. Serve is over. One, oh. Defence by the Malaysians. Two, one. Bolt. Service over. landed in. He could have played that. Service that over. was a misjudgment. 
three, two. Goodness me, that was sharp. From Chris at the front of the court. Three, oh. He's only done that. Service over. Four, three. Haven't played tournament play, the Adcocks, since January when they played in the Malaysian Masters, followed by the Indonesian Masters the following week. Quarter final and a second Service round loss over. in those two events. Four, oh. by the net cord. Just wide, but again, I like the thought process. Six, four. Never really seen this young Mala Malaysian pair pl play before, but I'm impressed with them. I've been following their results. I knew Service they must over. have potential. Five, six. Level. But I have to say, tactically in that rally, the Chen and Peck played particularly well, keeping Gabby Seven, to the back six. of the court, keeping Chris to a large extent out of the rally. Straight points from a two point deficit to a two point advantage. Defensive shot, Chris really stepping into that, taking it very Service early over. indeed. Seven, eight. Just watch how he's stepping forward. Look at that. Fantastic play. Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought that might be the longest rally. Seven, eight. Oh my goodness, he's missed it. Totally mistimed it, yeah. and flow of this match at the moment. holding up that far end of the court. And that's good play Nine from Chen. Four. Look at that, clearly. And Chen Tang So the second service error. Mm, disappointment for the coaches, yeah. Lovely change of pace. And a two point advantage. All the reigning European champions here at the mid game interval in the second game, having already won the first. Just a little bit of just maintaining We don't have a right to be suddenly five points ahead of them. It's just very much about working hard in the moment. Yeah. I think better attack from Chris there. Chris Ware is dropping more to the centre. Okay, that's something we need to hold up to yeah. I think on the um, even box, we can flip him down the middle again right, on the right box. Court one, one out, 26. Court one, 26. Players back on court. Coach, return to your chair. Well, busy tying the shoelace, and she might be. Penalised for that, we saw that earlier on today. 11 With the two time Play. former champion Skidian and Sukumoyo deducted a point. Not returning to court in time. Well, I could hear Graham Hurrell saying to Gabby that she might try flicking on the right-hand court a little more down the centre especially when serving to Chen we'll look out for that Oof, that must have been pretty close that looks as if it could have been in to me Oh no, good call, mind judge. Very good call. Service over. Oh, that's good pressure again. Ten, well, 13. the first couple of rallies, I thought the Malaysians were 
riddled with nerves. But they've settled into the match and, well, I said after the opening game, we'd seen glimpses of their potential. We're seeing more than just glimpses now in the second game. Oh, that's a great flick serve from Jin Tang Jia. Closer too. Time's over. Fourteen eleven. Good judgment from Chris at the back of the court there. 15, 11. Yeah, that one a little longer than the back line. Service error. That looked nervous to me. 12, 16. Yeah, in fact, having a practice serve in the, handing the shuttle back. Hey. Service over. 17, 12. You see, that's the sort of thing that impresses me. It's not the fact that he hit the winner. 13, He's hitting it in 17. exactly the right place. He saw that Gabby was waiting, committed to the backhand defence and just placed his smash across the body towards her hey. forehand side. Service over. 18-13. Over 14 18. Yeah. Over. Good work from Chris Adcock. And Two points away from a place in the second round. And that would mean, of course, that it would be guaranteed an English pair in the mixed doubles quarter-final because they're awaiting the winners of this match in tomorrow's second round is another English Service pair, over. Ben Lane and Jess Pugh. 15-19. That was well taken. Chris. Okay. 16. Brushed that shuttle off the top of the tape. Wonderful play from Peck Yang Mai. Service over. My bad error. 
from Chen means that the Adcocks match points with 16. four match point opportunities. Oh dear, another That's service over. error. 17 20. Points have come and gone, and another two remain for the Adcocks. As far as the Adcocks were concerned, third match point is converted. 21 16, 21 18, the margin of their victory. And indeed, England will be guaranteed a pair in the quarter final stage with the fact Gabriel, that their Adcock. opponents in the second 21, round 16, are English. 21, their confirmation 21 16, 21 18 in 36 minutes. Just snipping out the strings, releasing the tension of rackets with broken strings, not to distort the racket head because the players have the racket strung so tightly nowadays that if one string goes, the racket can actually get a little bit uh, contorted by the uneven spread of load from the strings. So they go off to sign autographs safe with their victory in two straight games against Chen and Peck from Malaysia. So, many people feel they are the best chance of English players getting through to the final, and I wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, but I think they'll have to sharpen up after their performance today. But the main thing is, they're through. <laughs> As far as the Adcocks are concerned, up against teammates tomorrow, Elaine and Pew. Whereas in the top section, this is the top quarter of the draw, 
last year's beaten finalists, but the reigning world champions, Cheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong, they're safely through as well. So, as far as the Adcocks are concerned, if they're to reach uh, uh, the uh, final, they'll have to dispose en route the world champions. Well, when we look back on our matches today, it all started with the 2016 winner of the women's singles, Nozomi Okuhara, uh, simply too good for the full world junior champion, Tunjun. Uh, then it was an absolute thriller in the mixed doubles with the Commonwealth Games silver medalist Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith coming from 11-17 down in that deciding game uh, to beat her. Jiting and Du Huer. Then a major, major upset in uh, the women's singles. The world and Olympic silver medalist Pusala Venkata Sindhu losing out to Sung Ji Hyung in three games. An hour and 20 minutes of pulsating badminton. Uh, then it was men's singles and the defending champion who's uh, wanting to reach his third consecutive final here and only his third appearance, Shi Uchi too good for Anna's Antonsen. Then there was another major upset. The two-time defending champions, the current world number ones, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio are losing in the very first round to Liu Cheng and Jiang Nang, only the fourth men's doubles pair in history since the inception of the Super Series, reigning men's doubles champions to lose in the very first round of the All England Championships. Then there was more British interest with Rajiv Usif, the former European champion, went down to Tommy Sugiato in two straight games. The two-time defending champion.